Hey, I'm Leo, I'm an AI engineer, and here's a little something that I built using OpenAI's both real-time and responsive API. It's a real-time speech to whiteboard. The idea is that as you speak, the architecture you describe, the notes you dictate, the objects you talk about, they're all going to be placed on a virtual whiteboard in front of you. And on top of that, uh, the architecture that you're describing, you're gonna get some really good feedback on how to improve it thanks to OpenAI's smartest models. Now, for this to work instantly, we needed OpenAI's real-time API so that it could draw what the user is describing as they're describing. But while that may be instant, we also wanted a much smarter, albeit slower model, to give the very best architectural advice. Now, I know all that might sound a bit abstract, so let's just go ahead and get right into it and show you how it works. Hello, hello. Hey there. I'm here, ready to help. Just let me know what you want to talk through or sketch out. Great, so I'm thinking of building a real-time speech to whiteboard. So as the user speaks, the very things that they're describing and the stuff that they're talking about gets added to the whiteboard. Um, and at the same time, all of the architecture that they're describing gets fed up to a much smarter, albeit slightly slower model that then provides good feedback about how to improve the architecture. So can you just add that as a note to the bottom right-hand side, please? Sweet, sweet, that's great. Um, the other thing is I'm thinking how it'll work, so on how the architecture will look. I think first there will be a user, and the user uh, interacts with the front end, and then this front end uh, has a two-way communication with GPT real-time API. Can you just add that, please? Got it all linked up. Great. User the front end will also separately talk to GPT-5 as well, please. Can you just add that? There you go. The front end is now linked to both the GPT real-time and GPT-5. And as we can see, there's also some other advice that it suggests feeding in here. So it suggests adding a back end, adding a cache, adding a DB for persistent storage. Um, let's just add that. So we can see that the database will also be augment some of the, the data that GPT Realtime has access to. This was a really, really fun project and none of this would have been possible without uh, OpenAI's incredibly fast real-time API and incredibly smart responses API. Um, thank you so much.